गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स टूडे आवर टॉपिक इज ग्लूटियल रीजियन सो विच पार्ट इज ग्लूटियल रीजियन ग्लूटियल रीजियन दिस इज बाउंडेड एब बाय द इलिया क्रेस्ट सो दिस इज द इलिया क्रेस्ट इट इज बाउंडेड एब बाय द इलिया क्रेस्ट ऑन द मिड लाइन इट इज बाउंडेड बाय द स्पाइन ऑफ द सैक्रम एंड द कॉक्सिस फाटिब्रा below it is bounded by the transverse crease which extends from the hip joint so this is the transverse crease and laterally it is bounded by the one imaginary horizontal line from the anterior superior iliac spine up to the greater trochanter of the femur so this part is the gluteal region now for the gluteal region dissection of the gluteal region we have to give the incisions so first incision from the anterior superior iliac spine along the iliac crest up to the posterior superior iliac spine this is first incision second incision from the posterior superior iliac spine downward and medially up to the sacrum then third from the along the sacral spine up to the tip of the coccyx and laterally from the anterior superior iliac spine up to the a vertical incision up to the junction of the upper 1/3 and lower 2/3 of the back of the thigh then the skin flaps are reflected laterally downward so here after removing the superficial fascia we have and deep fascia we have directly entered into the muscle plane so we have removed the superficial fascia in the superficial fascia we have some cutaneous nerves and the deep fascia here that is known as the fascia lata and fascia lata here also it forms the gluteal aponeurosis we know and after removing this deep fascia we have entered directly into the muscle plane so this muscle this is the this muscle this is the gluteus maximus muscle this muscle is the gluteus maximus muscle this is the upper border of the gluteus maximus and this is the lower border of the gluteus maximus muscle so in the superficial plane we have gluteus maximus muscle and tensor fascia lata on the lateral side now we have cut across the gluteus maximus muscle to see the underlying structures so we have cut across the gluteus maximus muscle and we have entered into the intermediate plane so intermediate plane we can see here a muscle that is the gluteus medius muscle this muscle is the gluteus medius muscle now in the intermediate plane we have some muscles which are lying side by side with their and edge to edge so this is gluteus medius muscle this triangular muscle this is the gluteus medius muscle with the gluteus medius muscle edge to edge here is a muscle we can see this is the piriformis muscle so this muscle is the piriformis muscle and this is the key muscle of the gluteal region because we know some structures are passing above the piriformis muscle some structures are passing below the piriformis muscle now just below the piriformis muscle we can see here this is the tricipital tendon this is the tricipital tendon so this tricipital tendon has gamelai superior tendon of obturator internus and gamelai inferior so this three tendon gamelai superior tendon of obturator internus and gamelai inferior they call together tricipital tendon now just below the tricipital tendon we can see another quadrilateral muscle this is another quadrilateral muscle this quadrilateral muscle this is the quadratus femoris muscle so this quadrilateral muscle this is quadratus femoris muscle below the quadratus femoris muscle this muscle this is the adductor magnus muscle so all the muscles are lying edge to edge starting from above this is the gluteus medius this is the piriformis this is the tricipital tendon consisting of gamelai superior tendon of obturator internus and gamelai inferior and this is the quadratus femoris muscle and this is the adductor magnus muscle okay so this is the muscle plane now we can see here the bony prominence this is the greater trochanter of the femur so here is the greater trochanter of the femur and here is the 
ischial tuberosity here is the ischial tuberosity from where the hamstring group of muscles are taking origin so we will see later on these are the hamstring group of muscles which are taking origin from the ischial tuberosity now above the pyriformis above the pyriformis we can see one vessel that is superior gluteal vessel so above the pyriformis superior gluteal nerve and vessels are passing now below the pyriformis we can see here a large nerve this is the thickest or widest nerve in our body 2 cm in wide this is the sciatic nerve so this is the sciatic nerve fine this is the sciatic nerve and we can see here another neurovascular bundle this is the inferior gluteal vessels and nerve which is supplying gluteus maximus muscle so this is gluteus maximus muscle and this inferior gluteal vessels and nerves going to supply the gluteus maximus muscle now if we go more deeper plane we can see here another neurovascular bundle so here there are pin structure that is the tendon of obturator internus internal pudendal vessels and most medially that is the pudendal nerve so this is the pin structure lying on the ischial spine so they are coming from the passing through the greater sciatic notch lying a little for a little on the ischial spine then entering into the lesser sciatic notch passing through the lesser sciatic notch so this is the pin structure so these are the structures of the gluteal region now we are coming into the back of the thigh in the back of the thigh what are the structures so first of all the incision so incision here given that is one horizontal incision at the junction of the upper one third and lower two third of the thigh and an incision at the just above the knee joint so this is the this these are the two incisions now the midpoint of these two incisions are joined by one vertical incision now skin flaps are reflected laterally and medially so after removing the superficial fascia and deep fascia we have come across into the muscle plane so here we got the hamstring group of muscle so hamstring group of muscle we know the hamstring group of muscle they have some they have some common criteria that is they all arise arise from the ischial tuberosity so here is the position of the ischial tuberosity so the muscles all arise from the ischial tuberosity they are going to be inserted beyond the knee joint they are supplied by the tibial division of the sciatic nerve and they all are extensors of the hip joint and flexors of the knee joint now what are the muscles let's identify so this is the ischial tuberosity on the medial side this is the medial side and this is the lateral side so on the medial side we can see two muscle this one and beneath this muscle there is second one this two so this muscle this is the semi tendinosus semi tendinosus there are four hamstring group of muscle semi tendinosus semi membranosus long head of the biceps femoris and ischial fiber of adductor magnus so this is the semi tendinosus muscle so semi tendinosus muscle below it is forming a tendon fine so this is forming a tendon just beneath the semi tendinosus there is semi membranosus muscle so this is semi membranosus muscle at the origin semi membranosus muscle is like membrane so this is like membrane and below it is forming a below it is forming a tendon of a muscle so this is semi membranosus and this is semi tendinosus now with the semi tendinosus there is conjoint origin of the long head of the biceps femoris so this is biceps femoris muscle this is going downward and laterally and going to be inserted on into the head of the fibula in front of the styloid process so this is the long head of the biceps femoris and it is joining with the short head of the biceps femoris so this is the biceps femoris muscle and beneath that this muscle this is the adductor magnus so this is the ischial fiber of the adductor magnus so four hamstring muscles are semi tendinosus semi membranosus this is the long head of the biceps it is joining with the short head of the biceps and this is the adductor magnus now we can see here this nerve this is the tibial nerve actually this is the sciatic nerve sciatic nerve divides at the 
popliteal fossa or upper angle of the popliteal fossa into two division one is tibial and one is common peroneal but here the branching occurs a little bit higher it occurs at the back of the thigh so branching occurs at the back, back of the thigh and we can see here this is the tibial nerve and this is the common peroneal nerve so this is the tibial and this is the common peroneal nerve tibial nerve is going into the posterior compartment of the leg and common peroneal nerve it is going laterally downward and on on the lateral side on coming to the neck of the fibula it is dividing into the superficial and the deep peroneal nerve so these are the four muscles of the hamstring group and in the content we have this sciatic nerve dividing into tibial nerve and the common peroneal nerve and there is also a anastomotic vascular chain this is the anastomotic vascular chain which is formed at the insertion of the adductor magnus muscle this is also a content of the back of the thigh okay thank you